Recently, intermittent fasting has been getting very popular for all the health benefits that it provides. But have you wondered how does intermittent fasting provide all these health benefits? So this is what we are going to talk about today. Hi, I am Dr. Anshil Gupta. I am a functional medicine expert. I help people make personalized functional medicine plans to reverse their chronic diseases. So what is intermittent fasting? So intermittent fasting in simple terms is basically time restrict eating and fasting. So what it means is that you basically keep your eating window in a day to a limited time hours. Okay. And the rest of the time you do fasting. So the most common uh, method that people do is what you call a 16 is to 8 method where they eat for 8 hours in a day and the rest 16 hours they fast and do not eat it. But even if you fast in a day for 12 to 14 hours, then also you can get the benefit of intermittent fasting. But let's talk about how does intermittent fasting work and why it provides you all these health benefits that you have heard of. So the number one reason that intermittent fasting helps you with your all the health benefits is because it helps in reducing inflammation. So how does it do it? So let's go back to a little bit of basics. So your body produces energy. Okay. So the way the body produces energy by burning fuel, body has two kinds of fuel that it can burn. One is what we call as glucose, which is produced by carbohydrates. And the second thing is by, by burning your fats. Now in the modern day life, when we are eating on the regular basis, our body gets supplied with enough carbohydrates or enough glucose on the regular basis. So it always burns glucose to produce energy. So it never utilizes fat. So fats get deposited in your body all the time. But when you're doing intermittent fasting, your body is actually forced to burn the fats to make energy. And in that process, it helps to produce fatty acids as well as ketones. Now these fatty acids and ketones has several health benefits. The biggest health benefit is that they help to reduce inflammation in your body. The second health benefit these fatty acids or ketone does is that they actually have effects on certain chemical pathways, which are called NRF2 pathways or CERT genes pathways. And these pathways are responsible for reducing inflammation in your body. So that's the way these uh, ketones and fatty acids help to reduce inflammation in your body. And by reducing inflammation, we see several health benefits, which are like improvement in several autoimmune diseases like Hashimoto's disease, like rheumatoid arthritis, improvement in your pain, especially in chronic pain issues. All those benefits are seen because of, of reducing inflammation by intermittent fasting. The second way how intermittent fasting helps out is by improving the function of mitochondria in your body. Now, what is mitochondria? So mitochondria is powerhouse of your cell. This mitochondria is responsible for producing energy. And the way it does is by, by burning fuel. So remember we spoke about how your body utilizes fat and carbohydrates to burn, to make energy. So this exactly happens by mitochondria. So it is very important to keep the mitochondrial health in good shape. And this is exactly what intermittent fasting does. So what intermittent fasting does is that it reduces the amount of stress, which develops in mitochondria. So, when mitochondria is producing this energy, you know, by burning this fuel, there are waste products which are formed. These waste products are called reactive oxygen species. Now these reactive oxygen species over the course of time, when they accumulate in your cell, they actually starts destroying your cell and your body. Now, when you do intermittent fasting, it helps to your body to get rid of these reactive oxygen species and they actually safeguard your mitochondrial health. The other way intermittent fasting helps your mitochondrial health is by something called mitophagy. So mitophagy is a process where your body gets rid of dysfunctional mitochondria or mitochondria, which are very old. And so that it can, they can be replaced by the new mitochondria, which are functioning perfectly fine. So intermittent fasting helps you to get rid of the bad mitochondria or dysfunctional mitochondria and actually brings in new mitochondria, which are much more efficient. So you see that intermittent fasting helps with the mitochondrial function by not only helping them to 
get rid of the bad mitochondria but also by getting rid of the reactive oxygen species which which harms your mitochondria so this way if you as you improve your mitochondrial health you improve your fatigue so intermittent fasting can be helpful from improving your fatigue improving your mental clarity improving your energy levels those all things are done because of improvement in the mitochondrial function the other thing which intermittent fasting helps out or the other mechanism it works through is by improving what we call as autophagy what is autophagy so autophagy is a process where your body gets rid of dysfunctional or old cells so that they do not accumulate in your body and so that it can and then it can be replaced by the new cells similar to what we discussed in mitochondria this also happens with the cells now this process the autophagy process recent research proves that the aging which happens in our body when we age autophagy is reduced so if we improve this autophagy process then we can actually uh, reduce aging process and this can act as anti aging so intermittent fasting uh, actually helps out by removing your dysfunctional cells and replacing them with the new cells and that's the way it helps actually with autophagy and it also helps by reducing inflammation and also helps at an or acts as anti aging so these are all different ways that you know um, intermittent fasting works or helps you out the other way that intermittent fasting helps which is the last method is by improving your cell resilience what does that mean so we our cells is constantly getting exposed to different kinds of stress the stress can be physical stress you know when we exercise or we put too much pressure on your body or this stress can be emotional stress you know which can be as i said dealt with any trauma or any emotional uh, issues or it can be chemical stress you know as we discuss about the reactive oxygen species or different kinds of toxins so what intermittent fasting does is that it actually prepares your cell to handle all of these stresses in a better fashion so that's the reason it basically makes your cell much more stronger and improves your cell resiliency so that's the last method or the last way that intermittent fasting actually helps you out you know by giving you the, all these health benefits so you see you know intermittent fasting not only has just one way of helping your body but it has several different ways of helping your body to get all these health benefits and the reason and that's the reason intermittent fasting is getting so much popular in different kinds of diseases it helps with rheumatoid arthritis hashimoto's disease losing weight in obesity heart diseases you know brain fog issues gut problems all of those things and much more intermittent fasting is helpful because these are all different pathways that intermittent fasting affects in your body and actually improves it so that's the reason i always encourage my people all of my folks you know who have different medical issues to try intermittent fasting and see how that works for them I do offer online virtual functional medicine consultations from people all over the world. So if you're interested in reversing your chronic diseases or optimizing your health, you can work with me. The link is present in the description. You can click and make an appointment with me. Thank you so much.